Hello, hi, uh, this is Sham. Welcome to Canvic Traders YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn uh, about the option chain analysis, which is available at uh, NSE site. And uh, many of the traders interpret the OA in a wrong manner and take the wrong decisions and uh, they link the loss by end of the day. So I want to bring this topic uh, on today. So without wasting the time, let's jump into the video. Yeah. And uh, how to access this uh, page? I am into currently NSE homepage. So from homepage, you have to click on market data and uh, you can see here the option chain. If you click on that, it will directly lead to the option chain page. Okay. And by default, it is nifty. Okay. And uh, this is the option chain looks like uh, you all know that. And if you want to change it to bank nifty, here you can change and uh, if you want to go for uh, any stocks like my favorite bajaj finance so you can see the same for the stocks also so again i'm going back to nifty okay first of all we have to learn this what why, why the colors are different here in in this area in in this area you can see the calls are here all the calls will be in the left hand side all the puts are uh, in right hand side okay these colored mention as a itm itm means in the money calls okay these are all in the money puts okay and uh, this will act as a atm at the money okay and rest of all come into otm rest of all come into otm so the nifty is currently uh, trading at 14823 so 850 we can take it as a atm at the money okay so we'll uh, we'll check the what are the options available in the option chain first column is oa which is very very important so friends uh, now we are going to discuss about the open interest so basically what is open interest open interest is the total number of outstanding derivatives contract such as options and futures haven't settled okay in a simple language open interest is the number of active contracts open interest indicates the total number of auction contracts that are currently out there these are the contracts that have been traded but not yet liquidated what is liquidated they haven't closed that or they haven't uh, entered that option contract so why they haven't closed if you bought an option for 100 rupees your target is 200 rupees that's of course a positional trade okay so it is currently trading at 130 or 140 rupees for example that means whatever the analysis you made regarding that particular call that is working and the trade is in your favor if you are an option seller and sold an option for for example 240 rupees okay now currently it is in 190 rupees that means you are in profit so your interest on that call sold or bought call all right so to continue that to get if you continue that you get more profits right so that means you haven't closed that call and you have an interest on that open position so basically that is open interest so and uh, i'm repeating that open interest indicates the total number of option contracts currently out there these are the contracts have been traded but not at close okay this is mainly what is OA will make a separate uh, you know uh, separate video on OA because OA is a very very interesting factor and uh, uh, very very important factor of the derivative trades actually and uh, who are trading actively with the options and futures it is very very important uh, aspect based on these analysis they will trade uh, and will make a series on that not only one episode definitely will uh, most of uh, my past students also ask that so we'll we'll make uh, on a series of videos on uh, OA okay let's see the next option change in OA what does it mean we have a change in way right so we'll go to the definition 
it tells you about the change in open interest within the expiration period the number of contracts that are closed exercised or squared off a significant change in oa should be carefully monitored okay what does it mean it means that we have seen minus change in oa that means whoever sold the call they are not interested because the market is bullish so they want to cover their position shorting uh, before that shorted the calls right so they want to cover now so that's why these people are not interested because they are into losses so that's why they are want they want to unwind their uh, position short covering that is short covering basically you usually you will hear that short covering rally right so this is what uh, the basically the thing is that and next is uh, volume what is the short definition volume it is another indicator of uh, traders indicate interest in a particular strike price of the option okay so many people many traders will confuse that uh, the difference between the volume and oa see the difference between the volume and oa is that volume is if uh, some person a bought uh, five calls five contracts and some person b sold five contracts okay the five plus five is equal to ten right so that is a volume and what is a oa here five contracts sold by a seller and five contracts bought by a buyer okay that means only five contracts happen exchanged happen executed or exercised but the contract size is five only so that's why the way in this scenario is five only but the volume five plus five it will be calculated like that so that is uh, volume and next option is iv iv means implied volatility what is the short uh, definition implied volatility is the market's forecast i am repeating forecast of likely movement in the security price implied volatility usually increases in bearish markets and decreases when market is bullish okay you simply uh, you know remember this word if the market or a particular stock is going up okay going up that means iv will be decreasing and if it is bearish mode that means going down means that will be increasing okay we'll uh, we'll see the iv part also uh, i'll try to incorporate with the oa video series also okay i'll try to uh, give the explanation in the oa series okay ltp uh, ltp ltp is last traded price oh i know that you you, you say that i know that yeah of course you know that <laughs> and uh, bid price and ask price we'll see this so bid price and ask price see i'll tell you with an example if you want to buy in vegetables or fruits from the street vendor you go to him uh, you want to buy an onion or uh, apples for a kilo uh, one kilo so whatever the seller that means that vendor is saying that kilo 100 rupees okay that is ask price because the seller is asking to you to pay 100 rupees for one kilo okay that is asking price bid price you feeling that that is a little bit premium so you want to take it up for 75 rupees kilo okay that is bid you are bidding that 75 rupees but he is asking for asking prices 100 rupees so whenever you both people meet at a price like 85 or 80 or 90 rupees that's where the trade will happen right that means you will give money and the vendor will give you the product okay this is what uh, what happens in nse from the back end where to one buyer one seller is agreed to for the particular price then the a particular option contract or future contract derivative contract will be exercised okay so hope you understand this and strike prices you all know that uh, uh, 50 will be variation and uh, if you see in bank nifty that will be 100 rupees variation will be there and next option this is already we know that these all the itms in the money and this shade part also itm and this is all comes under into otm out of the money and uh, the important point uh, the nugget is that never ever buy otm options in your life if you want to make money i'm repeating again never ever invest or buy all these 
OTMs in any calls or in this size also. Okay, and this is called ATM. Why and all that uh, when we are discussing about the option selling series, I'll tell you the logic behind that. Please stay tuned. And if you haven't subscribed our channel, please subscribe it to know more about techniques and a lot of strategies and a lot of information about the stock markets. And if you want to settle in stock markets, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. So where we are, uh, so we are discussing about the ATM, ITM and the OTM, right? So you come to know that. And uh, the next option is trending way. Okay, trending way. The name itself will tell you that uh, what what is trending. Uh, either bulls are trending or uh, bears are trending. Okay, we'll come to know how to identify the which is a trending market. Okay, see uh, OA we know that uh, what is the OA here. Okay, what is the complete OA of the calls? 3.25 and what is the put side OA? 2.69. That means which side is a lesser? Put side is lesser. That means sellers are not interested to write the puts. That means on call side they are getting more profits. That means this is a bearish sign. This is a bearish sign. That is basically trending away. Okay. And how to read the option chain? How to find the support and resistance? We'll uh, tell you now. Uh, there's a two main rules actually. You first you have to find the highest OA in the first column. I'm repeating again. First you have to find the highest OA in OA column. What is the highest OA? I'm finding this one, right? So this is the rule number one. And rule number two, uh, careful guys, pay attention. Rule number two is that find the highest number in change in OA as well. Okay, find the highest number in change in OA as well. So in change in OA, 18,000 is the highest I'm saying and 14,000 is the second highest. And this is also second highest OA. Uh, so I'm taking it as a strong resistance. Okay, 33,000. And coming to the put side. Put side, I'm seeing highest OA nearby. First highest OA, this is uh, 19,000. Our rule number one is okay, identified. And rule number second is I identify the highest change in OA. That to positive, not negative. Negative means what will happen, you know that. So sellers are running out short, their shorts are covering up and they are running away from that contract or from the trade. Why? Because they are uh, in loss. They are incurring uh, as per their analysis or trend movement or a reversal may happening, something like that. With those, all these things, they are running out of the positions by uh, liquidating it. Okay. So this is the main support area. What is that? 32,500. Okay, and what is this minus? Minus, you are already uh, hope you guessed that. So here the sellers are not interested to continue that because they are incurring the losses by end of the day and uh, they are feeling that market will go up. So uh, I don't want to get more losses. I'll cover up the position. I'll roll up the position. Okay, sorry, roll over the positions. That means they'll come to OTM or uh, they'll they might be writing the puts or something like that. Okay, so this overall about the option chain analysis. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you so much, guys.